Hello everyone, you join me on November the 7th. Welcome to my channel, Carp Graft, and we're gonna to talk today about rigs. As I'm sure you agree, one of the most important things when you're out on the bank is your rig, because without hooks, you ain't gonna catch anything. So yeah, I just thought, you know, a lot of people ask me what sort of rigs I use. I use an array of different rigs, you know. I've been on the bank before, I've walked around and uh, you know, I've been having a chat with people and I say, you know, any any good lads, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they say, no, you know, I've tried everything. Um, not managed, managed to get a bite. And they get talking, they go, yeah, I've tried white, I've tried pink, I've tried yellow pop-ups, orange pop-ups, pop-ups, pop-ups. And uh, that's not trying everything. That's that's one rig, trying different colours. Um, some days you won't get a bite on a pop-up, fact. Some days you won't get a bite on a bottom bait fact uh, I've, I've been in so many different situations over the years and I've and one thing I learned at, an, at a young age was being able to ring the changes while you're out in the bank is is a big part of it um, don't get me wrong we're in we're at a stage at the moment um, where we've had a massive influx of, of, of cold water come down um, in the torrential rain and they're filling up the lakes and, and the lakes are cooling down it's been so mild of late but yet we've had a lot of cold water dumped in um, and the fish are certainly going through that stage they're going through that um, natural process of harvesting all the uh, natural food before the water gets too cold um, otherwise known as all show and no go uh, they're rolling everywhere but the bites are not coming very you know, hardly at all you know um, local lake I think there's half a dozen on the weekend it's got lots of fish in it and uh, one fish come out um, that's this time of year it generally it generally does that um, every year it do that when they're starting to harvest all the last of the natural food it, it, it does it um, yeah so I thought I'd go through some important things you know um, go through some of the rigs I use and um, why I use them basically um, yeah I suppose one of the main ones I use nowadays is one of my favourite pop-up rigs which is the reverse combi yeah which is obviously there's a coated braid semi-stiff coated braid with a chod section on the end yeah size 5 that one is um, yeah and I, you know, I only use leg clip systems a lot of ninety-five percent of my fishing. Um, so yeah, depending on what sort of heavy silt I'm using, generally I will try and use a boom of around about six inches, five to six inches, um, and I'll just lengthen that depending on if I feel I need to, what sort of uh, depth my lead's plugging in the silt, etc. Um, but yeah, I generally don't fish a pop-up at all over gravel. Um, no, I prefer something that's more much lower lying, like a wafter or a, bo or, or a bottom bait harder than the bottom and gravel. Um, yeah, pop up where it's essential over silt, uh, or you know, or if it's very, very silty, choddy out there, then you use a chod rig. Um, but yeah, I won't generally fish a unless it's early, sp early spring when the fish are just waking up. I might cast a pop up all over the pond just where the fish are starting to wake up. Um, to try and buy that extra bite but generally only over silt um, and chod another one don't use very often unless I'm using a um, a spray of baits during, with a throw stick um, the D-Rig fluorocarbon D-Rig size 6 curve there marvellous that one is um, yeah with a hook swivel on the D like so um, yeah again be it have some sort of quickly bounce bait on there three quarters of a bottom bait with a third of a pop up or something like that keep it nice and quickly balanced but yeah it's only if I'm fishing a spray of baits so I use that generally I much prefer fishing as a lot of you have probably seen watching my other vlogs when I've been fishing is that one's mega for me the slip D rig yeah, again, it's it's either end trap soft or semi stiff with all the braid, the coated, the coating, sorry, stripped off, just revealing all the braid. Um, the little 
that is a avid big eyed hook swivel on there um, yeah so that is probably a rig that I use got to be 75% of my fishing to be fair uh, fishing over bits and pieces I prefer to fish you know small baits to go with the mix I'm putting out uh, always critically balanced generally small wafters or, f or small wafters or bottom baits tipped with a bit of co fake corn or yeah so well, that's half of them um, I've got six here to six here to show you um, not a say I will get round to at least doing one a week over the next few weeks um, we have a bit of a rig tying uh, session on the channel and uh, yeah I'll show you how to tie them all and talk about them all in individually but um, yeah I've been asked and I wanted to show you guys so yeah we'll get on with the other three and uh, show you those as well yeah those of you that watch, uh, that watch my uh, vlogs a lot of the time um, yeah I must say um, yeah sadly um, I've done two vlogs of late um, but during those three nights of fishing I've done I've only managed two bites one was from a bream and one sadly felt like a real good fish done me in a line snag um, started to get a bit you know confident doing these vlogs and uh, I've been using a Bluetooth um, microphone lately and I don't run it back until I get home blah 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 and I try and do the editing when I get home well because both trips were relatively close together I've done all that filming all that talking over the microphone to get a few words then a bit of crackling a few words and a bit of crackling so yeah I won't be doing that I'll be using a wired one uh, as much as I can in the future because it's um, I couldn't I could salvage a few clips which I'll which I'll put um, hopefully in in vlog three of uh, yeah red down at Redlands but um, yeah, I couldn't believe it, run it all back, started to edit it and realised that um, in just about most sentences that I spoke, um, you get gaps where you can't hear me at all. And yeah, it's ruined it a bit, to be fair. Um, but like I say, it hasn't missed any action. Um, no, it's been a very poor start. A lot of fish showing all over the pond, uh, like I've mentioned, but but very, very few and far between the bites. Um, so yeah, I think the guys that are catching them are, are, are you know on the bait that that they feed them with most of the year round. So um, yeah, it's tough at the moment. Until they start grouping up, I think it'll get a little bit easier then. But you know, year on year, it's going to get tougher during the winter because you know that the water's going to be established. They're going to be in there and get used to being fished for a lot of the time. But yeah, anyway, back to the rigs. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a bit of rig tying anyway shortly. Um, we're going to get out tomorrow. Um, I, I was debating on where to go. Um, sadly, work's dried right up. I've got to look for a job. Um, yes, it's, it's very thin on the ground now. Uh, I had the job cancelled, a big job cancelled, which would have probably got me through. But, yeah, people get made redundant and things, you know, you, you, you can't keep them, you know, their deposit because they're on hard times, even if puts you on hard times it's just life that's what happens so yeah but there we go um yeah back to the rigs another rig that you guys would have seen a lot of especially during the river videos of late is the um blowback rig um yeah semi stiff coated braid bit of putty in the middle to weigh the rig down uh, again you can have a swivel figure of eight loop knotted on the end or just a loop knot ready to um, slip over your uh, quick change swivel um, yeah and that and, and the business end you've got your your blowback rig ring um, shrink tube kicker size six wide gate hook um, and there's a little tip for you if you look there on the hair that sees a series of knots there one's for make the hair and there's a bigger one what that does is, if you're using a snowman rig, um, you can lock the baits together with a series of knots so they don't pull apart, so they sit lovely together and hover, hover off that 
hook nice. But yeah, just a just a simple tip, but it's it very very effective. Next rig up, guys, is the obvious one. I uh, don't use it a lot, to be fair. It's not my preferred pop-up rig, but the Ronnie rig. Um, yeah, I prefer the. A lot of people love it with uh, curve shanks. Nah, crank is a low-lying pop-up, not a curve shank. Fishing a pop-up with a crank is <laughs> the hook hold you get is out of this world. But yeah, a lot of people some reason prefer a curve I don't a curve sends it even further off the bottom whereas a uh, nice short shank crank is the way forward for me that's my preferred low line pop up when I do decide to use the Ronnie rig or what they call the Ronnie rig um, yeah the fluorocarbon at length so yeah again very effective rig not one I use all the time. Um, somewhere where there's plenty of fish, I generally use it. Somewhere where you know, if I'm fishing somewhere that they're pretty cute, it's not a rig I use. Um, but yeah, another nice pop up rig I like to use. Um, generally, with the lighter fluorocarbon 12 and 15 pound hook lengths, um, is the combi rig. Uh, again, you can use it with a wafter. Um, I like it because it's a nice low, low end pop up. Um, yeah. Had a couple of uh, 40 pounders on this this year to be fair over at uh, Elphix West End just casting 10 mil 10 millers uh, 10 mil yellow pop-ups out there on their own uh, was doing the business yeah just with uh, silicon tubing down over the hook holding the air in place yeah bit of an old school rig that one but uh, still very very effective rig yeah pop-ups and wafters i generally use on that but yeah like i say i'll use again you can use the slip d it's a rig i use a lot in solid bags as well in about three inch three inches in length two to three inches in length in solid bags uh i, I, I say i can't express to you how much i use that rig if you go back through a lot of my vlogs that is in it devastating rig devastating there you go guys that is an insight into the rigs I use um, there is a couple of others um, that I use but very seldomly these days to be honest um, yeah they are the ones I use the most uh, and the, like I say slip D is probably the one I use 75% of the fishing these days I like fishing over bits and pieces when I put a better bait out and that is the rig of choice um, we are off tomorrow I think we'll probably give it a go on the old ballast pit tomorrow I've been down there today had a chat with uh, one of the uh, young guys that fish it uh, a friend of mine young Kai uh, yeah and you know I was saying to him there was fish out in front of him but it's, it's just one of them things this time of year you know especially the water level come up it's come up something like three foot over four days or something all that cold water going in it, it's going to be all show and no go hardly any of them are hitting the bottom certainly won't be feeding when they are um, but I'll go tomorrow I'll give it a go myself and see how we get on I, it's not going to be easy it never has been I've fished that lake on and off for years and whenever that water level come up it was never ever easy um, but yeah hopefully you'll be able to get some footage of it as long as the microphone works um, I'm going to be using a wired one during that session so fingers crossed it will well guys I hope that gives you an insight into the rigs I use and the rigs I prefer to use and why I use them and uh, yeah if you like the video give us a thumbs up um, smash the subscribe button click the notification bell because that's the way you get notified uh, of another vlog I've got coming up and uh, one thing's for sure we'll see you on the bank very very soon thanks for watching guys all the best